Hello my beautiful fragrance family, Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid click that like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm going to keep on giving you guys these budget-friendly fragrance reviews. 40 ish and $100 range, most of these, a lot less than that, and a good number of these you can pick up at your local rack stores. The one I'm talking about today is a 2005 release. It's a woody spicy. It's one of my cheapest fragrances in my whole collection, and I'm talking about Yacht Man Metal. So they all have this weird cheesy lid. You can't, if you try to open it like this when it's brand new, you'll pop that thing right off probably. It's ultra cheap, plastic, light, weird little gimmick thing. I can't show you the atomizer on this one because uh, it's out. I've had it for a while and I used it a lot. Um, but it's real similar to, to this one, blue. Well, it's not a bad atomizer actually. Being such a cheap fragrance, these things are like $6.99. <coughs> and, um, I'm gonna go over the couple notes that are in this thing and let you know what I think about this fragrance. If it's even worth picking up for the $6.99 or if you should just pass on the thing. So it's just linear. There's citruses, musk, uh, woody notes, and spiciness. Uh, that's it. You get a lot of the citrus in this and the wood, a little bit of wood, a little bit of the must, really what the main players in this are the citruses and the spices. But it's not like a Middle Eastern spice. It's real fresh, easy, kind of like Dunhill Desire Blue. It's real similar to that. It's actually real similar to the one that I just sprayed, Yacht Man Blue, except that one's a little more floral and like melony and stuff like that. Maybe like slightly more tropical, but this is more, um, I mean, the name suggests metal. It does kind of have a metallic type of a smell to it. Overall, it's not that bad. For $6.99, synthetic, extremely. But a pleasant synthetic. It's not like crazy nasty smelling or anything like that. I mean, the bods and stuff like that are the same price as this, but I mean, this is an actual uh, eau de toilette. I don't know how it is because the performance on this thing is terrible. That's one of the main downsides with this thing. I mean, I'm out of it, so you can see that I've worn it enough to enjoy it. It's a great gym fragrance. It's great for going out or whatever, just casual type wear. It's a summertime, springtime, daytime, casual wear fragrance. Definitely more youthful. Uh, I don't think Mature is really gonna enjoy this. I mean, it's possible. It's not like real sweet or playful like that or anything. It's just very, it's quite juvenile. Even though it was launched in 2005, there's nothing uh, spectacular or complex or masculine or anything like that going on here but to me overall it's a decent smelling fragrance I just can't get more than an hour and a half of performance with this thing if it did I'd probably buy another bottle but since I don't I probably won't buy another bottle am I telling you to pass on it not necessarily if performance isn't a big deal to you then uh, you could probably enjoy this. It's a great out of the shower fragrance too. Uh, it, it's it's pleasing. It's very pleasing. You can bathe in this thing and you still won't get more performance, but you'll have a nice scent bubble for that good hour and a half. Maybe you're one of the lucky ones and you might get a good four or five hours. Some people do. I just am unfortunate with many fragrances and I don't get that good of performance. And this is one of those ones where the performance is extremely bad. So, overall rating. What can I give this thing? I mean, in fairness, I'll give it a five. I didn't even want to give it a five because the performance is so bad on me, but it does smell good. I would give it a six if it had average performance because I think it's a little better smelling than your average fragrance. It's quite pleasant. It's quite pleasant for this price bracket. Um, so if you're not worried so much about performance, uh, most of the time these are out of the box you can smell it anyhow but it's a good smelling fragrance just no performance like I said mostly citrusy and a little bit of the spiciness there's not a whole lot to describe about this thing other than the fact that it's summery citrusy uh, there's not just like ones that there's like a bunch of them I don't know what it's there's more juicy uh, juicier a little bit kind of sweeter citrus than it is sharp tart citruses like your grapefruits and your pineapples this is more of your like um, honey bell orange and stuff like that so those are my final thoughts on yacht man metal with that i'm out y'all be blessed take care of yourself always and until next time